This is a poem by Tid Kidd, um, which is, uh, with apologies to, or I suppose based on, a poem by John Macefield, um, adapted by Tid Kidd, and she calls it Bee Fever. I must go down to the world again, to the lonely world below, and all I ask is a strong frame and some breath to help it go, and the heart's beat and the mind's song and a clear voice talking, and a fine eye, and a kind face, and the simple joy of walking. I must go down to the world again, for the call of life is strong, a wild call, and a clear call that echoes wide and long. And all I ask is some sunny days with white clouds sweeping, and patience deep to help me through when the bad hours are weeping. I must go down to the world again and catch me another life, to the king's way and the serf's way, to all their joys and strifes. And all I ask is a warm smile and a stranger's friendly greeting, and another chance to get it right, for each life is so fleeting. That's it, by Tid Kid, based on a poem by John Maysfield. But I am going to start with a piece that I wrote last Thursday called History Dawes. And I wrote this after seeing a piece on the news about the, the death of well, the, the ceremony for Harry Patch over in London. And it just struck me and I went to the computer and I actually watched the, the video footage that was online about it. And I just sat there and cried because he was one of, from my findings so far, I think there's now only two surviving veterans from the Great World War. And one is here in the United States, and the other, I believe, is in Australia. Um, but uh, the more they don't talk, the more history dies before our eyes, and, and that's what this is about history dies. Every moment of every day, history dies before our eyes. Today, Harry Patch was laid to rest, but first the Great World War he did fight. In the trenches, side by side, he fought for peace around the world. With comrades from home and from afar, just babes were they, and battling babes. Never speaking till old and gray, Sim taking secrets to the grave. The stories to tell will ne'er be heard as history dies before our eyes. One more left from the Great World War. Corporal Beckles in the U.S. does abide. Will his story e'er be heard? Coax him to tell, someone must. For when he dies, none will be left. What happened long ago on ground far away? Someone must record before the mind grows dark. If only to have a set of eyes, a pair of ears to record, treacherous, horrific moments from our past, posterity to teach and to school. We cannot know from way back then, except the mouth reports tell the stories while still alive lest history dies before our eyes. Yeah, wonderful. wonderful I actually just finished this one today. Looking at the glass, staring back at me, not sure what I am seeing, pixels roaming free. I'm not really Alice, then in Wonderland I must be. They tumble and twirl and boggle the mind. Skanks, wolves, vampires, those that are one of a kind. Dancing, prancing, flying above, in this fairy tale land I did find. No Cheshire cat, nor his toothy smile, but I do enjoy the music and relax for a while. But then I wander around a shop, looking for the latest style. Stepping through the screen to find a fairy tale land, second life or real life. My life seems out of hand. One thing I have found through the screen is never bland. Yes. 
<laughs> Slowly. Thank you very much. So this is one I've actually been working on for quite a long time. And I actually had wanted to upload a photograph to go along with this one, but I didn't have a chance to. But this is about my grandparents that raised me. This is about their love, and it's called A Love Like Yours. As the world was going to war, you found love. And let, let me pause just briefly. I'm still kind of a little iffy about the ending, so if y'all have any feedback on it, you know, let me know if you like it, then fine. I'm just overly cautious. As the world was going to war, you found love. When our country was leaving depression, you found love. Though your ages differed by the number 12, you found love. Your kin thought you'd marry others, but still, you found love. Four years of love, and you saw your first child. But you could not, nor would not, stop with just the one. After twelve years and three girls, a boy bounced your way. Four beautiful children are your true love on display. In six and twenty years, your love, it would not die. A baby boy was born, as were grandparents with a sigh. Though the decade, through the decade hence, five girls became your glory. Six grand ones in all became your very pride and joy. For three and forty years, you had love. Through four lovely children you showed, you had love. In every argument resolved still, you had love. Within my heart you live on, because you had love. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Thank you. To languish in de decadence, to wallow in pleasure, to have a sweet melody sung in your ear, to write, to love, beauty in everything, adore it all, 